All right, so comment below if you can hear me. I believe you can. It's been a while since I've gone live, and this is significant, so I want to jump on and, and help you guys out. So go ahead and comment below if you can hear me and see me. So a train derails in Ohio, and it's been a while since this happened. And what's happening is the remnants of the chemicals are in flames, and the smoke plume is going across the atmosphere and probably getting a lot of us. So someone asked me on Instagram what we should do about it. And so I was doing research about the compounds that were spilled and burnt. And apparently there were millions of gallons of vinyl chloride in the, in the train. Thank you, Yoga. Appreciate your comment. Thank you. Um, so butyl alkylate was another one and these other compounds as well. But the biggest one apparently was vinyl chloride and it was millions of gallons of it. And the governor says, don't really worry about it because the air quality readings are basically similar to what they have been expected prior to the train wreck. Well, it depends on what they were reading, right? So you can make anything, a statement like that, but what were they measuring? Were they actually measuring uh, the compounds that were being burnt off from the vinyl chloride? I don't know, but you know, there was a lot of dead animals nearby the train wreck. And um, I would suspect that's a problem. So Sierra Club responds to this and vinyl chloride is linked to liver cancer. And when burned, it provides, uh, produce acute toxic gases. Okay. So not good. And I wish I'd known about this earlier, but I was in a conference in Florida and I was off all news and basically social media as well. And so here I am talking about it now. The half-life of vinyl chloride is about one and a half days. So that means that it takes vinyl chloride one and a half days, 50% of it to go away. So if you calculate there's 5 million gallons after about 36 hours, um, that's the half-life. And then after about a week, you have about uh, 0.19 um, remaining of the vinyl chloride, but that doesn't take into account the toxic gases and what the toxic gases do. So in the toxic gases, according to this paper from environmental science, they produce reactive oxygen species in the epithelial lining, which then you breathe in, goes in the respiratory tract. And these reactive oxygen species include hydrogen peroxide, hydroxyl radicals, and hydroxyl radical is the most reactive meaning the most damaging. And the reactive oxygen species may induce oxidative stress, causing adverse health effects. Okay, so this is the compound that is being uh, produced from the vinyl chloride, and then we breathe it. So if you breathe it, then how do you get rid of it? So I wanted to research, okay, what gets rid of hydrogen peroxide? That I already know, but I wasn't really sure about the hydroxyl radical and PQQ, looks to be a pretty good one. So PQQ is especially effective in neutralizing superoxide and hydroxyl radicals, which then contribute to mitochondrial dysfunction. So that's pretty key. And PQQ is naturally found in fruits and veggies and human breast milk. Now NAC, I wanted to see if NAC supports this as well. NAC does have biological effects. You can see oxidant scavenging it does work with the hydroxyl group as here in hypochlorous acid and hydrogen peroxide. And, and many of you know that N-acetylcysteine goes to support glutathione synthesis as well. So the beneficial effects of N-acetylcysteine are due to its capacity to reduce intra and extracellular disulfide bonds. And it looks to be NAC is effective in removing hydroxyl radicals and supporting glutathione replenishment. So glutathione is a mentally important antioxidant, particularly in the brain and the central nervous system. And they wanted to research in this paper, the mechanism of glutathione towards the hydroxyl radical. And it was pretty theoretical back in the, you know, in previous papers. And this paper showed that the hydroxyl radical can abstract a hydrogen atom easily from glutathione. Thus, glutathione is shown to be efficient scavenger of hydroxyl radicals, which is in agreement with previous studies. So hydroxyl radical is basically an OH group, plus it's pulling the hydrogen away from glutathione to make water. So that's pretty cool. So you can neutralize these toxic hydroxyl radicals 
with PQQ, NAC, and glutathione. So if you have access to these, get them. I highly recommend utilizing these and the I put them all on discount for you as well now because I want to get this in your hands. So they're all 20% off right now at Seeking Health. But I want to look further. Uh, hey, Baza. I want to look further about sauna. And sauna, I'm not really sure. But look, folks, I mean, a train spills. There's stuff being on fire. It's going to be a lot more than just, uh, you know, hydroxyl radicals and hydrogen peroxide, right? So there's going to be other things. So you want a sauna. And sauna, this paper looks at the, in fact, I got my uh, link down here wrong. Sorry about this. But this is looking at the New York, when New York Twin Towers uh, got destroyed and they were in flames, the firefighters got really sick. And so there was quite a few studies uh, looked at in terms of how the firefighters um, improved after the sauna utilization to get rid of the compounds that they inhaled from the burning buildings and all the chemicals that were associated with that. So this individual, um, and they were using the Hubbard protocol and the Hubbard protocol uses niacin and then they exercise a bit and then they jump in the sauna. Okay, so niacin apparently supports a blood vessel dilation and then uh, fatty acid metabolism and you start you know, getting these free fatty acids in your bloodstream and then you get jump in the sauna and then you can sweat and detoxify, okay? So taking niacin, about 100 milligrams, you will flush. Um, so if you don't like flushing, then, you know, it will cause flushing. And then you exercise for about a half an hour by walking briskly or whatever you want to do. And then you, you, then you get into a sauna, temperature ranges from 140 to 180. And then you drink your fluids. And then you stay in there as long as you comfortably can. And then you get out, you take a break, you rinse off you replenish with your electrolytes and you get back in the sauna and you do this until you say, okay, I'm done. And this guy was pretty, pretty sick. And so he did it for 35 days and then he felt much, much better. Okay. So sauna is really key for this and, you know, clinical effects of regular dry sauna bathing, um, doesn't really matter. Just get into a sauna and you enhance secretions of toxicants through increased sweating. And if you don't have access to a sauna, just put a bunch of clothes on and go for a brisk walk or get into a car that's hot uh, and drive or lay out in the sun, you know, with that you don't get burnt, but just get hot, okay, and sweat. And then uh, this was a study done by my colleague, good friend, uh, Dr. Stephen Janis, um, and he did a, a really good study looking at uh, actual measuring of toxicants coming from the sauna and he proved that there was numerous compounds and so if you want to read about it you can look up his paper right here blood urine and sweat it is a free paper and you can read it but as a potential method for elimination of many toxic elements from the human body so look anytime there's a, a fire even if it's a house or a train or whatever it doesn't matter we are being exposed to compounds and you need to get out of them and so I have got a sauna guide for you uh, at seeinghealth.com pages slash how to sauna. And so you just go here and you can uh, get this sauna guide. And again, it's at seeinghealth.com. And if you click the learning category, uh, you'll find it. In fact, I can see if I can pop it up right here. Yeah, so if you click learn right here, how to sauna. So this is at seeinghealth.com, learn how to sauna. Click that and there it is. So high tech health is a sauna I've been using for, I don't even know how long anymore, 20 years plus. Um, and then I gave it away to a buddy of mine who's still using it. And, uh, the only thing I had to replace, uh, once was this control panel. The control panel died on me. Um, but I replaced it after about 15 years and they gave it to me for free and I just plugged it in. It was a simple plug and play thing, but it, the rest of the thing is still going. And then. Uh, I've got one of these uh, three person, like you see here, at Seeking Health headquarters for my team to use. Uh, it's locating and located in the nice big bathroom in our warehouse, which we have a, a sauna and a shower um, that they can use. And you can get this in a one, two, or three person. 
And I gave them a call and I said, hey, can you offer a bigger discount than what's usual? And they said, yeah, we actually have a pretty significant discount right now where it's $500 off plus free shipping. And then they said, if you send someone over to us, it's another $500 off. So that's a thousand bucks plus free shipping. So um, Ryan, do you have any brand of home saunas that you recommend, which is effective but affordable? Um, High Tech Health is one I've been recommending for a long time. Uh, Sunlighten, um, I've always liked the look of Sunlighten, um, and I do recommend them, but I don't recommend nearly as, as highly as High Tech Health because I don't have the experience of a Sunlight and Sauna. In fact, I don't know if I've ever even used a Sunlight and Sauna, but they are pretty, um, but pretty isn't always what you need. So, um, and this uses Poplar, and you probably saw me in my Instagram where I was talking about uh, sanding the cedar wood in our home sauna. And cedar is a pretty toxic wood because of the compounds that are being eliminated, the oils. So, but if you use uh, poplar, it is quite safe. So any other comments before I wrap this up? You know, but there's this exposure to the, you know, hydroxyl radicals is pretty significant. And uh, you want to uh, you know, limit the, your exposure to those. So there might be delay in comments, but not seeing any yet. So thanks for uh, bearing with me on the, the live stream. It's been a while since I jumped in and used this software and I had to tinker with it, but it looks like I got it working. So thanks for joining and uh, hope this serves you. Go ahead and comment below uh, if you learned something and uh, if you wanted to get those supplements to support the elimination of the hydroxyl radicals, uh, you can find them uh, here at Seeing Health, the NAC, the PQQ, the glutathione and the liposomal glutathione plus and also what i told my team is uh we are putting these on discount so if you go to health focus air pollution and you add any of these to the cart so any of these but i specifically the you know nec for example you hit nec it doesn't look like it's on discount right now you click add to cart and it's on discount okay so from 2195 to 1756 and it goes into your cart and it shows you here the discount. So get out there, detoxify and oil spill, vinyl chloride <laughs> on fire, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You want to get these compounds out and you should sauna all the time anyway. Take care all.